hey guys what's up it's solo and we are back here on destiny now the last time you guys saw me on destiny of course i was reacting to well the trailer for this season and also the light fall not light fall jesus the um final shape trailer and there's a lot of good things i got shown off during that and maybe i will tell you guys about that you know maybe in another video but today we're going to be talking about why i think that this season's probably going to survive a lot longer than most seasons we see and we're going to talk about the things that i kind of predicted so if you guys didn't watch my old video i actually predicted that we we're going to have a season where we do hive rituals which was this season and i thought it was super funny and i said in my reaction video oh i predicted this I feel like I did in a tiny bit of way, not like a hundred percent, but a tiny bit of way. Now we do have bounties. And I did get a witch's key. So that's cool. And then so this is why I think replayability is gonna be an interesting thing going forward with this, because there's a bunch of cards, right? That you can do. And you can actually Get different benefits but if you get five cards as you can see by kind of like the altars and things around if you get five cards they can start appearing in the altars of summoning now mind you i haven't been to the altars of summoning at all yet and yeah it's gonna be an interesting one and from what bungie were saying you can spend like two hours in this activity so if we got too long i'll probably stop it but for now this will be my first like raw reaction of playing the uh altars of summoning now, I do actually have a witch's key, funny enough. I also have feeble offerings and yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, do we have to do all of them? There we go. So you made it to the Oblivion. Big deal. Don't pat yourself. So yeah, so you come back here and do offerings. Which is pretty cool. So you can either do a robust, a powerful. Wait, which one's the better one? Uh, I don't even know which one we started. Oh, uh, we did a robust, which is like the middle tier. <laughs> I completely missed. I think the thing that will make this hard is the fact that... Yeah, you're not getting me with that. That there are, like, hive guardians in this. Oh, he's always moving. Stop moving. But that's the like most interesting part about this is again you can keep just playing it. At least from what Bungie was saying, you could just keep playing it. 
and then keep playing it and keep playing it so now we have to get uh burdens of tribute And we run around. And this guy's just gonna sit there AFK for some reason. Anyway, I think we have two. And now we should have three. Okay, so yeah, now we have to find the offering place, which is going to be over here. And of course, it's got a bunch of people on it. Yeah, I've been playing with Strand a lot, and it's been pretty nice. I'm going to probably look up a new build after I get done recording this video. But the cool thing is, is, like I was saying, you could probably just keep going. There's a lot of things you can do. Anyway. Again, besides the story, this is the first time I've actually done the Altars of Summoning as the activity, not the, like, story mission. Okay, and then the... Altar is up here. There we go. Oh, he just put down well. I'm gonna go stand in it. Boom. He is dead. So that was a robust offering. That's a lot fewer goons for us to clean up later. I bet the boss appreciates it. I have a powerful. Ah, uh, you do another robust. Hey, I know these guys. Annoying bunch of jerks if you ask me. Take them out already. Retainer of Savathun. Oh, I just got royally stunned. Yeah, and then we got to go up and uh, melee these. Run! Where's the last one? Oh, oh it's in front of him. Okay, invoke hive magic, which then... Yeah, it takes down the shield.
I don't know how I missed that. There we go. Okay, I die already. Thank you. Okay, and then... I wonder what they're doing. I'm gonna do a powerful offering, I swear to god. No, I'm excited to see what this means, and I'm also excited to see the final shape. A lot of people are like, oh, well... Honestly, I'm doing a powerful, I don't care. Pink. This is gonna be fun. No, it's... it's... <laughs> oh no! It's all scorn! Oh my god, and they take like no damage. Anyway, I killed all the abominations. I forgot, like... Oh my god. I forgot how hard some of these are. So... Yeah, this is this is pretty nuts. Honestly, it definitely feels like a challenge. There we go. Holy. Okay, I definitely need something to be able to clear out mobs with. Let's pull out. Let's pull out the rocket launcher. Oh, that's what I like to see. Not rocket launcher. It's a grenade launcher, if I remember right. Enough of no more screams. Are you kidding me? Okay, he's dead. Nice. We won. <laughs> Bro, that was brutal. Yeah, yeah, you can put a lower one in if you want. I just wanted to do a powerful. So yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, the episodes that got announced during the live stream of the final shape. 
I think are going to be a good thing just for the series in general because a it brings it back to like six week cycles for content so then it doesn't get as stale i know there's a lot of haters that are like they're just you know they should have done this months ago or whatever but honestly i definitely feel like it's going to be a good thing for the game in general and I think Bungie, again, are actually coming back into their stride with just this kind of, kind of content. Because you notice any content that feels very, I guess, rich with what the theme is and what, like, the story is. Because, like, with the big theme of Eris Morn, right, and the whole story behind that, Eris Morn being a hive is like the most how do you put it back ass word thing to happen because you figure the hive were the people who took the light from her took all of it from her and now she is one of them just to me is just nuts I don't think these guys know how this works. Because it took me depositing that for it to be. So yeah. Another cool thing that's happening is Wayfinder is getting a lot more stable. And what I mean by this is... Yeah, my last video ended with me getting kicked out of the servers, but also they've been doing updates to fix, like, bug crashes. And make sure that things are going the way that they want them to, which is good. Because that means, well, we're going to be able to get into the game. I just got an exotic engram. Neat. And then we have, of course, Call of Duty, which again, I, I'm gonna s probably start playing on the channel. I need to mess with settings so then it works well on the channel. But, I want to do some, like, wacky loadouts, things like that. See how you guys react to them. Yeah, I don't think these guys know how the tributes work. Or if they do, they keep storing up so damn many. Well, that was easy. Tide unto me, Acolyte, and affirm the survival of the light. Well, if you show up, thank you. So yeah, she draws power from all of it, and then boom. Did I use my key? Terror. Nope. Or er, yeah, I did. Oh, 
Oh, he left. He he just straight up left. I think I might leave as well. Cuz I think that's going to be it for that. So yeah, you can do that summoning like repeatedly it looks like. And again, when you get the quests done for each of the cards, you'll have that put into your deck. And when you hit 15 cards, that's when it's going to, you know, that's going to, that's when it's going to be able to be used. And that's when it gets fun, because that, that's a, like, roguelike aspect I kind of wanted them to do, where it's like, oh... Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Now you're going in farther, and now you're lasting a longer time, and now you're getting more rewards. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at. We're gonna go check our rewards, and then I think that's gonna be it for the video. All in all, I thought the showcase was pretty good. Again, I know a lot of people are disappointed that, oh, well, you know... The showcase wasn't them showing off some darkness subclass, right? Because that's what everybody was hoping for it was darkness subclass. That's like what everybody was latched on to. And in reality, I get like people want, you know, well, even if you go into here and you go, oh man, but people want a third subclass to kind of like match these. But again, it also gives us a reference to a the first like supers shown to us in Destiny, right? Because with what we call it with the solar, that's a reference to radiance. Although, thank God, there's no nah, <laughs> self revive with it. I like this. And then there is the arsenal, the Twilight Arsenal, obvious reference to, of course, Twilight Garrison, and also Void being one of the first things shown off for Titans as a super. Then finally, Ark being, you know, the Hunter super. Bro, I'm so excited. Um, I need this. Because I need all the pieces. And then I want this. Oh, is my inventory full? Yeah, it is. Let's get rid of that. But yeah, that's the big thing. Is I definitely think now that Bungie's going to have the episodes, it's going to take destiny into a newer direction rather than, oh, hey, by the way, uh... We can't do anything because of these limitations, but we're going to be getting content drops every six weeks. Hopefully, hopefully nothing messes up and hopefully we're not going to be getting one of the messages that's like, oh, well, we're going to have to extend time in between the acts of the episodes because that would kind of suck. But with that being said, just gonna show you guys the full fit here by the way if you're wondering what the uh origin trait is we have head rush which is standing up after crouching for a short time gants gants yes gants is a word grants this weapon a brief period of improved handling and reload speed and then of course you can also extract the pattern And then, where is my minor spec right there? And yeah, so that's where we stand with the season. I, so far, from my first impressions, I think this will be a really good season. Just with, like, the armor, the weapons the ornaments shaders so on and so forth it looks great 
However, we have still, I think we have still yet to see the Eververse set. I'm not sure if they said that the Eververse set is going to be in at the beginning. Right? Because, like, hold on. Yeah, so these are. I really like I would do God the God's Vein stuff, but mm, I don't know. But as far as it goes Oh uh, I, I need to go. I need to do this. I need to get this. Is isn't this from uh This is from somewhere. I think it's from. I know it's not from uh, the raid, but I need to go grab this. Yeah, and then the Willbreaker suit. Of course, if you guys didn't see the news, the Willbreaker suit is actually from. Yeah, Kuroda's End, which is going to come out on the 1st. Yeah, I don't think I have seen any armor set yet specifically for this season. Uh, including the one that's supposed to be like the Eververse set. But again, they might not have it in the game yet. Because again, they didn't, it didn't seem like they had it. But I'm not sure. It might be this one. If it is this one, I don't think. Like, is there only one version of it? Because if there's only one version of it, I'm going to be kind of a little mad because it seems like the only way to get it right now is to go through pvp but i don't think that's it because it's not being shown hold up let me let me go check real quick because i believe i can look at it in the tower so let's go to zavala real quick but yeah so the plan is tomorrow we're going to be doing uh more wayfinder and then the next day, I think I might try to do Call of Duty, and then we'll go back to Soulstone Survivors. Soulstone Survivors is just nuts. Like, I had a run last night that only ended because I ran into a wall, and I couldn't see anything because all my stuff was just so much. But yeah, let's go, let's go see if, um, this new armor is actually over here or not. Because one way to tell is in grams. Okay, so it looks like it's still the same thing. So I don't think it's in the game yet. Hopefully they'll get that in soon. But guys, this shader looks great. By the way, this is from an exotic bundle for the uh, Volatile Throne set. It's for Le Monarch. And it comes with this shader, a ornament for Le Monarch, and then a, I think, a projection, I want to say. But this shader is just nuts. It's animated, and yeah, I, I like it. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like the video, hit the, ugh. sorry, hit the like button, comment down below. What do you guys think of the season of The Witch? I think it's pretty good so far. My opinion may change. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.